Hello, hello, hello all and welcome to The Good Witch. This is your Aries intuitive tarot reading for the month of November for the year of 2021. If you are new, welcome, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment in love. So today we are going to look at your love, your finances, and a message from the divine. Stay tuned all the way to the end because the messages are amazing. I know we come here for love, but trust me, the best thing you can love is you. When the divine speaks to you, the divine definitely speaks to you. Now, Aries, it doesn't seem like y'all are going to have a problem <laughs> loving you this month. The entire energy of your reading right now is lucky seven choose your battles so we will be deciding which battles we are fighting we will not be giving a crap about a lot of them i keep hearing the anita baker song sweet love so let's go ahead and flip over your love cards you have the ace of wands the two of swords and the nine of swords in reverse so those things that have been keeping you up at night, you're getting over that this month. You're finding your peace and you're moving on and moving forward this month. Those things that you had that were holding you back, that were causing you heart pains, that you hadn't got over and you were still trying to forgive and trying to move forward, you're done with that this month. Y'all please remember to like, share, and subscribe because I got a feeling spirit is going to take over this reading. I feel it in my bones. So. All of those things that you were that were keeping you up at night those painful thoughts those past memories those what ifs those mistakes those what if I did this differently what if I'd have noticed that before it was too late the ooh I wish I wouldn't have cut that person off and I wish I would have cut that one off sooner the I moved too fast with this one and too slow with this one so you know I messed, I messed up the situation. I dropped the bag when it comes to love. I know this person loves somebody else, but I think they still have room for me too. But I don't want to be sick. Yet. That I casted all my pearls into the swine and now I get, I get nothing back. That I'm tired of settling. That I'm tired of dragging my feet in love. That defeated feeling. You letting that go this month. You letting that go. And you can let that go right now, honey. You can choose to let that go right now. The success that you want in relationships may not come this month. But the self-love will. Before you jump into a new relationship, you need to start to see yourself or the God or goddess that you are. If you're already in a relationship, take some time out, standing back in the mirror and look at yourself and admire you for who you are and who you're becoming, even if that person in the other room does not. You're not settling. Some of you may want to settle because it's easier. It's not easier when it's going to disrupt everything later. You're debating on whether you, you should give this person an ultimatum, be with me, or don't, don't give them that ultimatum because the decision has already been made that they don't deserve you, okay? I'm going to need you to click that 10 second button and hear that shit again. Um, the universe has your back in what you feel you deserve not just what you ask for. So I'm asking for love and marriage and family and but but what I feel like I deserve is the scraps from someone else's table. I feel like I deserve all those painful things that we already talked about that we agreed that you are letting go this month. Stick around all the way to the end because trust me, the divine is moving but it is not through with you yet, Aries. There was a powerful and quick there is a very powerful Aquarius in your midst, and you're gonna want to pay attention to that person because that person 
is unexpectedly going to give you some words of wisdom this month. So if there's an Aquarius in your life, you need to talk to them. Make it a talk to them. Make it a point to check on them. They're going to help you get out of that um, that hanged man state. They're going to help you get out of limbo. So by the end of the month, by the round, right after Thanksgiving, we're going to stop worrying and we're going to stop caring and we're going to not stop caring, but not stop caring so much about what other people think and what those things that hurt us. We're going to stop holding on to that by the end of the month. So I suggest if you feel like wallowing in it, you wallow in it now because come December 1st, it's gone. Yeah, let that go. You've got some seeds in the ground, some seeds that you've planted, some good and some bad. And I suggest you tend to your garden. Those bad ones come up like weeds and sometimes those good ones might be rose bushes and they might have a few thorns on them, but you need to tend to your garden. So that you can receive all the blessings that are coming for you. Focus on the blessings that are coming for you. Focus on the good seeds that you've sown because in love, what you've tended to do lately is focus on the bad seeds that you sow, sowed. No one is perfect. That's including you, Aries. And you know that you're not perfect, but you focus on your imperfections too much. Someone is sitting around admiring your perfections and you won't even let them do it. Let them admire you, love. Ma'am, sir, sir, ma'am. Let them admire all of that. It's worth admiring. Okay? It's definitely worth admiring. So you do let go of those negative thoughts and those negative thought processes and those past hurts and step into your peace and love this month. And that is whether you're single in a relationship or a situation ship or ships. You're stepping into the fullness of you this month. Ashe? Ashe. Let's look at your finances. So we're taking our emotions out of our finances. Y'all are pretty good at that. Your finances are good. You have unexpected money, stocks, bonds, things like that are doing well for you around the around Thanksgiving, around Indigenous People Day, whichever you choose. It's it's coming around. So be mindful of your investments and it's not time for new ones. It is time for you to invest more into the ones that you already have. If you have none, talk to somebody to know how to get you some. You will be spending money this month. But on things that benefit you, some of you are spending money on fun things and it's because you do deserve to get out and have some fun. People will be asking to borrow money from you about mid-month. Mm. Maybe like childhood friends or somebody that you're close to. Don't loan people stuff if you if you don't if you need it right back. They not they'll give it back eventually once I owe once long as they owe you, you'll never be broke. So don't loan nobody out nothing that you're gonna need back. Because that's the mentality that they're gonna have. Some of you will be having some issues with siblings or loved ones regarding money because they're going to feel like you could help them attain happiness with your wealth and you won't do that or you're done doing that and you're cutting off those financial ties and some people are going to call you a liar and be very, very upset and passionate and vocal about their upsetness with you to the point to where it hurts your feelings. Don't let the holiday blues get you. They should have sowed better seeds because the seeds that you've sown in your financial life are coming back in full throttle. Now show the universe that you, show God, show the universe, whatever it is that you show, that you appreciate it and you welcome it and that's what you feel by taking care of it and doing the proper things with it. Not 
giving it away and continuing to cast those pearls among the swine because you can do that with your finances just like you can do that with your feelings. You throw a line at people that you know ain't gonna never get it back from so that you can satisfy this approval addiction. It's not the time for that because what you're gonna tell the universe is that you're not ready for it. And you are. That's why we letting go of those things by the end of the month because all of that feeds into each other, okay? I think this whole message is a message from the divine, but we're going to get ready to turn into your message from the divine. So please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment in love. Yes, yes, yes. Seven, eight. Okay. Someone's lack of belief in you had caused you to interfere with your belief of self, but you're coming out of that in a passionate, strong way this month. You're coming out of that towards the end of this month. You are just this fire that you are and you're believing in yourself and you're walking into your greatness and you're not letting anything stop you doing that. It's not like you're running to run yourself ragged. You're running, but you're doing it in a peaceful way. Just because you're busy, just because life is hectic, just because there's a lot to do, does not mean you cannot have peace. You can run as fast as you can, and you can do as much as you want to do. You can be busy 18 hours a day and still have peace. Don't believe the hype that you have to be stressed to be progressing. You don't have to be stressing to be progressing, love. Don't. Now, if somebody put that on a t-shirt, I'm fine with that. Just give me credit. <laughs> because that's the type of stuff y'all will be doing to us this month. You will be creating and you will be making things and you will be finding new sources and new ways to express yourself and your creativity and your love and your passion. without changing who you are. Ashe? Ashe. Don't leave. Stay with me. Now, below there are some links. I closed out my, mentor show, my mentorship program in October, and I wasn't going to do it for the rest of the year, but I have reopened it until winter solstice, which is in December. Um, so I've reopened it for you to join the mentorship program so you can decide to change your life for the better in the year strong and go into 2022 in an amazing new way. Okay. Now, uh, there's, a, there's a link for that below. There's also a link for those of you who are not ready, right? Not quite ready to change your life, but you are ready to get on your right path and make sure that you're doing the right things and find out some things about your past, your present and your future. And there is a link down there for you to get a reading. Okay. Now, those of you who want something a little different, the conjure candle industry has been taken over by very, very, very either fraudulent or not safe people. And this is in the realm of hoodoo. And you people, people are buying these conjure candles off of YouTube, not YouTube, off of what am I, what, Google, Google, or wherever you type in Google and conjure candles show up and you can buy one for $17. That's not made for anything except for sometimes to wreak havoc in the lives of the person who buys it. I, I do make conjure candles, but we, I make them for you. They're not made for just whoever picks it up. It's dangerous to let people throw roots at your door. There's many examples that I could give. One morbid one or one that's actually true. You get a fast money candle and you need some fast money. Then you get in a car wreck and you get injured. And now you have a check coming in the mail from an insurance company. But you can no longer walk or some nonsense like that. You get a lover return candle and the wrong lover return. Talk to someone who knows what you want. Okay. All right, y'all. You check the links out below and anything that you purchase from this box, the pillows, the 
um, like I'm looking down like I can see it, the pillows, the yoga mats, the shirts, whatever, anything that you purpose go, purchase goes to the Good Witch Global for the purpose of building schools in Gamoa Adam in Ghana um, and then a clinic. So all of it after taxes goes straight to there to build a school to help the children and that is what the Good Witch Global does. We do nothing but philanthropy and I love you, love you, love you for still being here. I love you, love you, love you just because I love you, love you, love you because you need it even when you think you don't. Peace, love, and light, y'all, from the Good Witch.